morning sixth graders. I hope everyone had a fantastic spring break and are ready to tackle fourth marking period. So today we're going to start topic 15. We're gonna temporarily skip topic 14. We'll come back to that later on in the year. But we're gonna to start topic 15 and it's all about statistics, okay? So finding the average of things, given a list and figuring out, kind of analyzing what that list is about. And we're gonna start with something called figuring out what a statistical question is. So this is the definition of a statistical question. It says a question that anticipates there will be a variety of different answers. So I underline variety and I underline different because those are very, very important keywords to the definition of a statistical question. All right, variety means that there are many. Okay, so the answers that you're gonna get from this question, there's a lot of them. And obviously the word different means that they're not all the same answers. There's a lot of answers and they're all different for the most part, okay? And that's what a statistical question is, all right? So let's look at some examples. So I'm going to turn to page 751. All right, so right now I'm on page 751 and I would suggest turning there as well so that you can follow along. So it says in three through six, tell whether each question is statistical or not statistical. Now again, if it is statistical, that means that it follows that definition. It has a variety of different answers, okay? And if it's not statistical, it doesn't follow that definition, okay? So, Number three, it says, in which month is your birthday? All right, so are you going to get one answer for that in which month is your birthday? No, people have birthdays months in a lot of different things, okay? A lot of different months. So in which month is your birthday, you're going to get a variety of different answers. Now, some people may have their birthday in the same month, like I share a birthday in March with probably a lot of other people, okay? But the answers aren't all, all going to be March. You may have February and you may have April and you may have December. So this question is going to get a response of a variety of different answers. So I would say, yes, it is statistical. What about number four? Does Sue wear glasses? Is that statistical or is that not statistical? Well, remember the definition of a statistical question is you're going to get a variety of different answers. So we're talking about one person. Does Sue wear glasses? What are the two options that you can get as an answer for does Sue wear glasses? You're either going to get the answer yes or you're going to get the answer no. So is that a good variety of answers? No. So a little trick right now, guys, is that if you respond to a question with yes or no, it is not statistical. So I'm going to write not statistical. A yes or no question is not statistical. So the next one, who is the current president of the United States? Are you going to get many answers for that question? No, you're only going to get one answer because there's only one president of the United States. So again, if you only get one answer, that is not a variety of different answers. So that is not statistical. And lastly, how tall are the students in grade six? Okay, so is everyone in our grade the same exact height? No, you have a variety of different answers and different heights. So someone may be a certain height, but someone may be a different height. No one, two people or three people may be around the same height, but that's not everyone. You're still getting a, a good variety of answers and they're all going to be, for the most part, different. So this, is it statistical? or is it not statistical? This question, how tall are the students in grade six? It is statistical. So let's re recap real quick. 
all right? If you get a variety of different answers, okay, it's statistical. If you get a yes or no question or yes or no answer, it is not statistical. If you just respond with one answer, that's your only option, it is not statistical. So let's look at the bottom of this page. So it's saying write a question, a statistical question you could ask to gather data on each of these topics. So let's look at this. I'm trying to figure that out. Cool. All right. So number seven, what question could you ask to get the number of pets classmates own? What question could you ask? Well, it's as simple as how many pets do your classmates own? You could ask that. Okay, there's a bunch of different questions, statistical questions you could ask to get how many pets your classmates own. It could be how many, the number of pets your classmates own. All right, simple as that. Number eight, heights of different household plants. How could you get, what question could you ask to get the heights of different household plants? How tall are your classmates' household pets, household plants, sorry. You could say, how tall are they? Or what are the heights of the plants that you have in your house, okay? You're going to get a variety of different answers for that, all right? And this last one, it says number nine. It's not really too much about making a question, but it says, Kim asked her classmates, how many siblings do you have? So let's look at that. Is how many siblings do you have? Is that a statistical question? Are you going to get a variety of different answers if you ask your classmates how many siblings they have? Yeah, you're going to get a variety of different answers because not everyone's going to have one sibling. Not everyone's going to have no siblings. Okay, they're going to have a variety of different answers. She collected the following responses. All of those numbers. Make a dot plot to display the data. So you've done dot plots before in previous grades. So let's look at this. And it gives a little hint. It says a dot plot is a type of line plot that uses dots to represent data values above a number line. So we actually did line plots in fifth grade last year. I'm positive because I taught to them. All right. So line plots and dot plots are exactly the same. But instead of the X's, we're using dots. So I'm gonna pause this video real quick. I'm on page 751. I want you guys to create a dot plot for all of this data. So you can draw a line and number it zero, one, two, three. How far are we gonna go up? Well, the highest number is five, four, five. And I want you guys to create a dot plot based on this information. All right, so give that a try. All right, so let's look. Let's start with zeros. I'm gonna cross off the zeros as I put the dots. So there's one zero here, put a dot, another zero, put a dot, another zero, put a dot, another zero, put a dot, any more zeros, one more, another zero, put a dot. All right, now let's look at one. I see a one here, put a dot, one here, Put that one here, one here, one, and one. Two, the two here, a two here, a two there. I'm missing any. Nope. Three. I see a three here. Three. Three. One four, and two fives. All right, so from this dot plot, it organizes our information. And I'm just gonna give you a hint right now, guys. This whole entire topic really relies on you being organized, okay? So how I was crossing off everything as I was doing it so I didn't lose track, okay? This whole topic, finding all of these different types of statistical means of averages and middles and stuff like that is all about staying organized. So make sure you're doing that. And by creating this dot plot, we are more organized as well. Because now we can easily see 
all of our data values and I can set, ask you a question such as, what number of siblings is the most popular? And that would be having one sibling because it's the highest dot plot. What number of siblings is having, having the most siblings is the least popular? What number of siblings is the least popular? Having four siblings. All right. What number of siblings is the same? What number of siblings has the same amount of people? Well, that would be two and three. So from making this dot plot, we organize the information. And that's basically what we're going to be doing, doing a lot of organizing of information so that it's nice and easy so we can kind of see it and take information from it. Because looking at these numbers, really, really hard to pick out exactly what we need. But from this dot plot, nice and easy. All right. So attached to this Edpuzzle video is a Google form that you will need to complete. It's going to ask you some questions about what a statistical question is. It's going to have you identify statistical questions. And then it's also going to have you create your own statistical question. Make sure when you're creating that statistical question, okay, you want it to have a variety of different answers. So if you were to ask that question, you would get a lot of answers that aren't all the same. All right. Okay. So I hope that you guys enjoy your day and have a wonderful Monday.